All right, it is Monday. Um, admittedly, it is already 11 in the morning, so um, I'm kind of having a late start because for the past week I have been sleeping at insane hours and I just wanted to take it slow this morning. So, this is my um, Archer and Olive bullet journal in the slim version. My to do list for today is quite small, but right now I should be finishing up assignments, so that is what I'm gonna do. I already started actually. The other thing that I wanted to show you is my Google Calendar. This is the current week and this is last week. As you can see, it was very, very crazy. Uh, and this is what my week looks like almost every week. And all of the uh, color-coded stuff, they appear every single week because I schedule them in and that way I don't have to type them in every time. And a tip that I can give for scheduling out your day by the hour is just be realistic with your time uh, because switching from, for example, studying for math and doing some work for uh, my business, I need about 15 minutes to clean up my workspace and open all of the softwares that I need and etc. So um, just schedule in some breaks so that you don't end up falling behind and getting overwhelmed. Technically, I'm on schedule and I can start working on my Instagram sneak peek, but lately I have been forcing myself to kind of um, take advantage of little times in the day to just sort of do other stuff. So what I'm going to do now is work on this spread. This is my one decorative spread for the week where I kind of combine um, both my to-do lists and just like memories of that week. I do use this planner functionally, but it is kind of redundant, so um, it's more of just a way for me to kind of have fun with planning. I would rather look at this than uh, my Google Calendar, so. Another thing is that um, part of my job is to show people different ways to use planners. I find that people really appreciate it when they can see how a single planning style can be applicable to all different sorts of planners. Alrighty, this is what it looks like. For now, I have to work on my Instagram story sneak peeks. So uh, this weekend, we will be doing new releases and one of the things I want to do is a fall version of our couch emojis. I started some sketches last night, but I'm going to finish them off and take a photo for Instagram stories. I just finished the three designs, so yeah, I'm actually 15 minutes ahead of schedule, which is kind of rare, so I'm going to get a head start on my RSM 353 homework. In this model, we will cover another type of financial assets, derivatives. And this video will focus on forward and future contracts. I am very excited because I get to make some pumpkin soup. Um, I have been looking forward to this all week.
you would owe in present value $17 million more. Question is, how can you hedge against these interest triggers? How can you make sure that you're not going to be underwater if yields drop? Okay, I am not ending this off on a good note. Um, it is currently midnight and I have been working on my notes for capital market theory because I have a video quiz tomorrow. I should have been working and doing my math homework, um, but I have not done any work, as in like work for my business, and um, I have not done any math tonight. So uh, this is where I would rearrange everything because instead of doing work, I have been doing, oops, Person 332 studying. I still have to do the sneak peek for tomorrow, so hopefully it won't take. I'm, I'm gonna allocate an hour and a half. Um, and then I will do my math homework if I'm not terribly sleepy by then. So, yeah, um, this is an example of when things don't really go my way. Uh, usually I'm really good at sticking to my schedule, but sometimes I just get really carried away with studying for a course and I neglect everything else. Okay, I think I am going to tap out. It is two in the morning. Um, I have finished one, two, three, four, four in a little bit. Um, of the lecture notes to prepare for my video quiz thing that is I think tomorrow um, I have to double check that but yeah I am so tired I'm gonna continue my math studying uh, probably for another hour and then I will go to bed at around 3. Okay, this is my pretty planner and it just makes me so happy to look at. Isn't that just so nice? I'm like complimenting myself. Although it's currently Tuesday. Well, it's past midnight so it's technically Wednesday but you guys know what I mean. Um, I already finished the evaluation project so I can just check that off. As you can see, I don't actually use um, 10 planners in a given week and if you notice on my Instagram, I only upload maybe two to three spreads a week and that's because I only use two to three planners at a time. The only thing is I switch the planners every week depending on um, what fits my needs. So I use a passion planner if I have a really schedule heavy week and I would use something like a bullet journal if- oh my god I just hit myself in the face. This is just lovely hitting myself in the face at midnight. Um, but yeah I use my bullet journal if I have a lot of things to get done not necessarily in a scheduled manner. Um, and then this pretty planner I use every single week basically as long as I have time uh, just to just to make myself happy. I also have some business planners like my A6 rings, traveler's notebooks, and all of that but that's not something that I use every single day it's more just like for finances or project planning so um, if you're into that I can definitely make videos regarding my business planners but other than that I'm actually not as crazy as you think I am. It only appears that way, but really I only use two to three planners in a given week. So I hope you enjoy this video. Good night.